This is the stadium where both the men's and women's UVA lacrosse teams have played all season long. They have definitely had their challenges here on the field, but nothing more challenging than what happened two weeks ago. Both teams faced that challenge head on over the weekend. Two teams, two games, one tragedy, one love. No other university lacrosse teams have been through what these teams have. It's just a sad, sad thing. It's been taking a long time for this community to get over. Just a huge hurdle for our team to clear through. Two weeks ago, number one senior player Yardley Love was found dead in her apartment. Men's senior player George Hughley is accused of violently murdering her. <laughs> Now, for the first time since the tragedy, both teams take the field in the NCAA tournament and play for Yardley. We've been, you know, real close to each other, uh, leaning on each other, and uh, just trying to get through this thing. For some, this is extra personal. Katie Whiteley was Yardley's roommate and discovered her body hours after she was killed. I wanted to play especially well just to honor her and her family was there, so I mean it meant a lot. Men's player Ken Clausen was a pallbearer at Yardley's funeral. Yardley's one of my best friends and so to be asked to do that meant a whole lot to me. Both teams know these games will be special. They, the crowd, and the opposing team honor their friend. Please rise for a moment of silence. Then play hard with Yardley's mother and sister sitting feet away during the women's game. I just see so much of Yardley and both of them and seeing them was comforting. At times, the women's team theme song, Believe by Cher, comes on. The lyrics, do you believe in life after love, now taking an ironic tone. To have someone so remarkable, have her last name be love, has just uh, really demonstrated the kind of person she is. Wearing ribbons, special jerseys, patches, and armbands given by the opponent. Wearing the armbands really showed that, you know, we sympathize with what they're going through. Both teams pull off a victory. Being out there and, uh, Playing as a team together, you know, is helping everyone get through this. It was just really remarkable to see the strength that my team demonstrated. In games they will never forget. The joy to be playing lacrosse again uh, came together tonight a little bit for us. In honor of a player they will never forget. I think Yardley's pleased with the outcome of today's game. Oh yeah, she, she would have loved it. We could feel her and she was with us the entire game. Both the men and women's lacrosse teams now advance to the quarterfinals. They both have games this coming weekend. No doubt they will be thinking of Yardley. Reporting at UVA tonight, Nate Eaton, 8 News.